The accessibility of data in Business Central is, in my opinion, one of the strengths of the system. In this video, we're going to have a look at how we get some basic data out of Business Central into Excel in a way that it is refreshable. So what we're going to look at, we're going to have a look at the web services in Business Central and how to get to them. We're going to use that to connect to the web service from an Excel workbook. We're going to use Power Query to remove columns, sort and filter the data in a basic way and return that data to Excel as a table. So let's take a look. In Business Central, do a search for web services. So this page lists all of the out-of-the-box web services that were delivered with Business Central and any that your partner may have created or you may have created yourself. In this video, I'm not going to go into the details of how to create new ones. We're just going to look at how to use the link to be able to bring the data into an external program, in this case, Excel. So for this one, I'm going to use the customer listing. So do a search for customers. And I'm just going to pick up the customers page. So I'm going to come over here to the OData v4 URL and I'm going to just right click the link and I'm going to copy the link address. So in Excel I'm going to come up to the data tab and get data. And there's a couple of different ways you can do it but we're going to use the other sources and from OData feed. When I bring up the OData feed I can simply paste my URL. If you're doing it for the first time, you may get a message like this with saying, well, how are we going to authenticate? You always want to authenticate using the organisational account. And that's going to take the account associated with the paste you just did, which has your tenant ID and all of that relevant data. It's going to use the organisational account with that in order to sign in. So you may be asked to provide your credentials. And once it's validated who you are, you can then connect. Here you can see it's loading some data and it's going to launch the Power Query preview window. I can just load the data as it is into Excel and that's a refreshable data query or I can choose to transform the data. When you transform the data that's going to open Power Query in Excel and if you haven't explored this tool yet it's definitely one to get into. Within Power Query we're just going to look at some of the basic things today. So I want to get rid of a few columns that I don't want to see. So I can remove those columns. And what you see is on the right hand side you start to get the steps building up for what you're doing. A really good tip is to do all of the same steps at once as much as you can. So go through, get rid of all your columns you don't want to see and you can use control click and shift click for ranges and individual columns as you would with an Excel. Right click on the top, remove those columns. I'm just going to remove a few more so you get the idea. Now you might then want to have a look, you might want to change the way you sort or you might want to filter your data. So maybe you want to sort descending rather than ascending. So I'm going to sort descending. So you can see I've got a sort step that's come in now. And maybe I want to filter this data and I only want to see those with payment terms that are 20th of the month. And now you can see that I've got the filtered data. You can also rename the query so that it makes sense when you're looking at in your queries list. Once you're happy with what you've got, and here you can choose to close and load now to Excel. So close and load will go straight to a table. And if you go close and load too, you've got some options about how you want to return it. So if you like using pivots better than tables, then return it as a pivot. If you just want it as a connection because you need this to join with another query, we'll look at that in another video, then you could create connection. So I'm just gonna load this as a table. This connection is now live with my database. At any point in time, I can jump back into the query and we can see that it didn't hold the name. So I might just rename that again. 
we can jump back into the query and we can make other changes within here. And then when we're ready, close and load and it will refresh back. You can close this pane here so that you've got better real estate in the report. And you can always get it open again by coming up to your data menu and clicking on queries and connections. To refresh the data, you can simply right click and refresh. There are options for having the data refresh when you open the file and things like that. And we'll have a look at that in some future videos. But for now, you could then save this to a location that you want it with a file name. So I'm just going to save this as customer sample. This could be sent to somebody in email and as long as they have got the right read access into Business Central, they can also open the file and refresh it, save it to a location of their own choosing, make changes to it themselves and it won't impact any of the data that you might want to keep in your version of it. That's a real quick look at how you can use those web services to get data out into Excel. That will certainly give you a starting point for some very basic data queries. In future videos, we'll look how to join tables together and how to transform data in different ways. Thanks for watching. If what you see is relevant to you, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you back for another video.